Welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. I'm joined today by Kirill Klipp, and Kirill is the executive chair of TNR Gold. Now, the name confused me, Kirill, because to be honest with you, as, as much as I like gold, I love what you're trying to do. Can you tell me what TNR is up to? Thank you very much, Jeff, for having me today. We are building on the base of TNR Gold, the green energy metals royalty company. And our roots goes far back. The company is more than 20 years old and I joined it 10 years ago. And one of our most exciting projects in the gold now will be in Alaska, Shotgun Gold, right close in proximity of Donlin Gold. And now, as we know, Alaska is heating up, if I may to use it, for, for the mining again. But my real dream is to build the green energy metals royalty company. And I still remember the days when I was buying Royal Gold if you remember, of course, and I was lucky enough to buy it below $5 and then, of course, I was very happy to sell it over 70 I would like to do the same, but now in the space of so-called energy metals. Okay, so what energy metals excite you? Energy metals excite me because I really think that we are at the very beginning of the mega trend and very famous now in our still small circles, uh, Morgan Stanley report, which almost half the valuation of all lithium mining companies just telling me we are at the very, very beginning of this mega trend because, you know, at the moment we just crossed 1% in sales uh, of uh, general uh, so-called internal combustion engine, uh, so-called ice cars being taken over by electric cars, but now we are closing on two. And as we discussed just recently in my interview about international lithium, I am really in this game because I believe that all cars will be electric much sooner than a lot of people anticipating. Mm -hmm. And it means that we will have to produce, moving from today's level of just 217,000 tons of lithium carbonate as a market in total in sales, to 1 million tons annually, and it's not my uh, forecast but by UBS and then I will put you my focus we have to produce in total 12 million tons of lithium by 2030 just to have 200 million electric cars worldwide and then up to 36 million tons so you're not agreeing with JP on their uh, on their analysis of it no I'm not agreeing with them because they are still trying to think how out the industry could be saved and I can tell you after Tesla earthquake for outer industry, all the outer industry cannot be saved. And as soon as authorities, as soon as all these business people who are leaders in this industry will realize it and will really commit to so-called switch, I call it switch. For example, you must be driving a car, I'm driving a car, you know, the demand is already there. If I can have the beautiful electric car for which I will pay as for my mobile phone, cheaper than for this ugly, polluting normal car, I will always pick up the new one. This is why I call switch, when literally millions of people will be switching from one technology to another. So what energy metals do you like other than lithium? Is there anything else it's that It's a very good you? question, Jeff. Of course, uh, TNR Gold is quite famous again in our small circle because we're holding a royalty on entire Los Azulas copper deposit with uh, McEwen Mining and legendary Rob McEwen is developing it now in Argentina and as you know Argentina is moving positively and positively back into the business community in the world and why copper you can ask me of course with lithium more or less the story is told already but with copper I will tell you just a few numbers uh, copper association expects that demand particularly for electric cars for copper will rise ninefold just in the next 10 years because if you can imagine just in one electric car, we have up to six miles of copper wire. And of course, you know, normal car uses just 55 pounds of copper. Electric car uses 165, three times more. Multiply it by those millions of electric cars coming up, and you will have incredible amount of demand in copper, which will be put on top of all solar industry and other uh, development in renewable energy. I love the argument that copper is an energy metal. It makes sense, but that's great. Yeah, Jeff, now famous red metal is going green. 
<laughs> well, you know what? Thank you very much, Carol. I really appreciate the update. We'll look forward to having you back on soon. Thank you, Jeff. Cheers. It was my pleasure. Bye -bye. Thank you.